They are better for the ozone, but lithium batteries are causing a different problem for the environment, fires. In Los Angeles, documented highway fires caused by trucks either carrying or being powered by lithium batteries, which emit toxic gases when they burn. The city's port had to be shut down for more than two days due to a lithium ion battery fire. And now some lawmakers are calling for safety improvements. So let's bring in News Nation's Nancy Liu, who joins us live. Nancy, so many batteries are already out there. How problematic is this? What can be done at this point? Well, Nicole, we've got well over a million EVs on the roads in California and a major state push towards going all electric. So the odds of major incidents out here are just definitely higher. And two recent truck crashes had this problem at the forefront. Just last month, a big rig loaded with lithium batteries crashed and caught fire, spewing toxic gases and shutting down access to the Port of Los Angeles for over a day. And over the summer, another truck crash and battery fire with thermal runaway shut down Interstate 15 for two days near San Bernardino. I-15 is the primary roadway linking Los Angeles to Las Vegas, and this incident stranded hundreds of motorists in high heat, many without food or water. Well, that prompted California Assembly Member Tom Lackey and other Republicans to send this joint letter to Governor Gavin Newsom, urging him to pump the brakes on upcoming mandates. He's talking the advanced clean fleets rule, which requires large trucking fleets to be all electric by 2045, and there's a ban on all diesel truck sales by 2036. According to Assemblyman Lackey, the state is pushing too far, too fast, and endangering public safety. We're, we're not trying to stop uh, this decarbonization move. What we're trying to do is make sure that we do it in a measured way that makes sense and is safe. And when we have this new threat, let's study it and let's make sure that we're doing everything we can to minimize the exposure of tragedy. And the electric push and political landscape may push California gas prices even higher soon. Just last week, Phillips 66 announced plans to close its oil refinery here in the Los Angeles area by the end of next year. Nicole? All right, so Nancy, are there specific proposals for improving safety? Yeah, by now, uh, fire departments all over the country, they've adapted in responding to smaller battery fires with the likes of EVs, e-bikes, and scooters, and those fires are hard to put out. But with battery loads on big rigs, the much bigger fires and thermal runaway are major incidents. Lawmakers are proposing tighter regulation of how batteries are transported. Among the suggestions, perhaps safety inspections before these trucks leave port terminals, a requirement of lower truck beds to reduce the chances of that truck tipping over, and a requirement that all batteries being transported are charged no more than 30%. Now, truckers argue that mandatory inspections that would slow down deliveries and cause new traffic backups at the ports. Nicole? All right, Nancy Liu, live for us there in Los Angeles. Nancy, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.